Here at Wiffle Statement, I do my best to cover all the major happenings in the Wiffs community, whether it be tournaments, big name teams, players, etc. However, by nature, some things just get lost in the mix. Today we are going to be covering one such team that I haven't really talked about much until today, and that team has been on the grind for going on half a decade now, and are shaping up to be a formidable squad in 2022 up and down the East Coast. Today we are talking about the New York Dragons. Founded in 2017, the New York Dragons played their first couple seasons as a minor league team in the Palisades WBL prior to the league's termination. The team was, and still is, based around the core of Nick Lee and Mike Bucci, Nick being the captain. Over the past few years, the Dragons have competed in numerous organizations. As previously mentioned, they competed in the Palisades. They have also been a mainstay team in MAW and were a dominating team last year at ECW. I think the Dragons really began to hit their stride as an organization at ECW. Simply put, they dominated ECW, being the champion of the league with a 7-0 record. While the team had a disappointing 1-3 performance at the United Wiffleball National Championship Tournament last year, they did not let that bog them down. This offseason, Nick Lee has made a couple major moves that I think will definitely put the Dragons more on everyone's radar. In 2021, while they maintained that core of Lee and Bucci, the Dragons had multiple fill-in players, with Pete Slater joining the team at MAW. They also had Rob Longeru join the team for the opening day tournament as a fill-in batter and pitcher. At ECW, they also added two elite players, that being Jordan Robles and Nick's brother, the well-known Vin Lee from the Phenoms and Meats. However, in 2022, the team has looked to bolster up their roster and add some overall steadiness to it. Returning to the team this year will be John Polanco, who was a great pitching asset for the team last year that really helped carry the pitching duties. In January, the Dragons announced the signing of former East Coast Elite pitcher Mike Wiener. Wiener will be going into his second season at MAW and will already have some rapport with the team from their shared time at the Palisades. While he won't be able to eat a whole lot of innings, I think his arm and the whiffs experience that he brings to the table makes him a valuable addition to the squad. Next up, the Dragons signed former short ball and Ridley Park standout Frankie Campanella. Frankie won't be pitching this year due to taking time off to rehab his arm, but as a fielder and a hitter, Frankie more than pulls his own weight. This was put on display last year when Frankie's bat basically single-handedly defeated Voodoo at the 2021 opening day tournament. This roster will be more or less set for all MAW events, and to me, will definitely raise the eyebrows of the competition. Now, taking a moment to move over to Golden Stick, the squad will be making their debut in the league this year, and the roster will shrink back to the core of Nick and Bucci, but they have also announced that they have signed Vin Lee to the team for the 2022 yard season. To me, as a three-man, this team is an absolute unit. It's a super tight batting lineup with a lefty in the mix, and the brother combo of Nick and Vin Lee on the rubber will be a great one-two punch. The interesting part of the Dragons is how firm of an organization they are, and that they bring their team into different organizations as the same core unit. I love that, and moving into 2022, it really has the capability to be a big breakout year for the team. While they might be considered a sleeper team to many, I wouldn't be surprised for the Dragons to make a lot of noise in MAW and Golden Stick this year. So I would definitely keep your eye on them as this 2022 wiffle ball season starts rolling.
Speaking of keeping the team on your radar, besides following the leagues that the Dragons will be playing in this year, you can also follow the team on Twitter for consistent updates on the team throughout the course of the season. I've put that link down below in the description, so be sure to go drop a follow. As for myself, my name is Ben. I like wiffle ball. It's kind of consumed a big part of my life at this point, and I run Wiffle Statement, your home for elite content covering whiffs from across the country. You can subscribe here on YouTube for new videos every Friday afternoon. You can also follow me on Twitter at Wiffle Statement, as well as my team's TikTok account. As always, all those links are down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there and play some whiffs, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Goodbye.